Just because it's common, that does not suggest it's not risky. Many individuals fall under the misconception that if a lot of individuals are doing something, it must be the safest course. If you were born several decades back, you would have believed cigarette smoking was safe since everyone was doing it. Is having a job safer? I make my whole income from running this website. I enjoy dealing with it, and there is amazing capacity for development. But among the typical criticisms I get is that I'm taking on a riskier course than somebody getting a job. In their minds, because a job is more common than online entrepreneurship, it needs to be safer. Inform that to the factory workers from huge auto business that just recently lost their jobs. Was it safer to adjust to a paid too much job in an aging market? My income in the next few years may suffer because of the economic crisis, however a minimum of I can't be fired. The basic American diet. I eat an ovo vegetarian diet. This certainly isn't typical as just 1 to 3% of the population is vegetarian. A common criticism is that I do not receive sufficient protein. My own diet logs estimate my protein intake at around 65 to 90 grams per day, well within the approximated 10 to 15% of daily calories essential for health. The error here is assuming that an average diet plan is the best diet plan. Nevertheless, when you look at the rising levels of obesity in Western countries, and the greater incidences of diabetes and heart disease, it's most likely that average is killing you. Non-traditional wisdom. The typical self-help dichotomy is the safe and mediocre path versus the risky and virtuous one. Entrepreneurship is dangerous, but it's likewise more rewarding than being a widget producer. This dichotomy is incorrect. Often the best option is really the least risky over a time period. Take this online service. I didn't pay any startup costs, so if it tumbled, I would only lose a little bit of my time. My income stream is divided through multiple different sources, and I have the choice of easily pursuing brand new ones, so I'm varied if one stream dries up. Finally the intangible assets I've built up in regards to skills and connections suggest that, even if the worst case were to take place, I might use those abilities to make revenues in other places. I'm not arguing that you should pursue an online organization due to the fact that it isn't risky. You need to do what you're passionate about. Nevertheless, I decline the argument that due to the fact that I'm taking a non-traditional method to income generation, I'm at a bigger threat. Don't shortcut your thinking. Conventional wisdom is a faster way from real thinking. When you count on the majority to offer you career, diet plan and spiritual advice, you prevent thinking about these issues for yourself. Typically when you peel off the covering and start to understand the systems behind it, you can create more rewarding and less risky options to your problems. When you remove the outer layer from your career, you see that a task isn't just working for money. It's constructing abilities that provide worth in exchange for money. That's why programs created to offer individuals jobs, however don't provide worth are ridiculous. It's likewise why, if you don't produce value at your task, you remain in a far riskier position than any business owner. Peeling off the layers to your diet and you'll see that, while people have been omnivorous throughout their advancement, couple of societies have consumed the exact same volume of meat as individuals do today, and none consumed as much processed foods. Look carefully and it makes more sense for meat to be a side dish than the main dish. The only security is within you. Personal advancement, far from being a dangerous choice, is most likely one of the best. You can constantly lose your job, however only seldom can you lose your skills.
services can pass away. However, the lessons learned from unsuccessful ventures make future businesses stronger. Your health can fail. However, your ability in changing your practices can remain strong. If any investment of your time does not develop internal assets, it isn't worth doing. Even the most rewarding job isn't worth the paycheck if you aren't becoming more skilled or experienced as a result. Among the factors I think running a company is more secure than working at a job is that I've discovered far more from entrepreneurship than I have from any job or class. Even if my external properties fail, I have actually still developed internal properties that can't be eliminated. The illusion of security. Helen Keller says security is primarily a superstitious notion. It does not exist in nature, nor do the children of males experience it as a whole. Avoiding risk, in the long run, is no more secure than straight-out exposure. Security does not originate from following the masses. With an economic collapse, terrorist attacks, weight problems epidemics, and third world flood relief efforts in a developed country, I do not think anyone can argue that the world is inherently safe. However, because fear you have two options. To blindly follow the masses over the edge of a cliff, or to believe on your own. Individual advancement and unconventional options frequently lead to the most success. But despite their appearance, they frequently hold the least danger. Services can stop working and diets can be flawed. However, every day individuals lose their tasks and eat hamburgers. There is no such thing as complete safety. And if there was, it definitely would not be existing in the countless average options made by the majority today.